Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video in which we will solve problems using antiderivatives. So let's solve this problem here. Ball thrown from ground level into the air, acceleration minus 10 meters per second squared. The initial velocity is positive 20 meters per second. We're gonna find the maximum height that it reaches. So looking at this, you can be forgiven for thinking, well, how can I possibly figure this out? So this is our plan of attack. We know what the acceleration is, so we turn that into a function. Its antiderivative will be the velocity function. The antiderivative of the velocity function will be the displacement function. We're going to calculate the displacement function, which will allow us to calculate the maximum height. So we need some variables here. So we're talking about distance and time. So we're going to let y equal the distance in meters, and x will be the time in seconds. Of course, I chose meters and seconds because they were the units I was given. So let's just call this one here y double dash. That is the acceleration function. So the acceleration is minus 10 meters per second squared. So it doesn't matter what the time is, the acceleration is just minus 10. So what we're going to do now is calculate the velocity. So that is the derivative of the displacement. So that's going to be the antiderivative of the acceleration. So the antiderivative of minus 10 is just going to be minus 10x. But of course, remember, I have to add the constant c. Now, we're told that the initial velocity is 20 meters per second. So that means when x equals 0, the velocity is equal to 20. That, of course, means that c here is equal to 20. So changing c to 20, we have this as our velocity function. So the displacement function is just going to be the antiderivative of the velocity function. So remember to perform the antiderivatives, we're going to raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. Similarly here, we're going to raise the power by 1, so it's x to the power of 1 and divide by 1. So if I differentiate this function here, I get this one here. Now here, I do need to add a constant, but because it's thrown from ground level, that means when x equals 0, y equals 0, because the displacement, the height above ground, is 0. So I can just get rid of this c here because it's 0. So making this a little easier to understand, this will be displacement is minus 5 x squared plus 20 x because of course minus 10 divided by 2 is just minus 5 so now this is the displacement function this tells me here how high the ball is above the ground because it was thrown from the ground into the air so to find where this is a maximum that's really simple you're just finding the maximum value of this function. Another way to put it, you are finding the value here where the velocity is equal to zero because what will happen is the ball will go in a straight line up, it will then stop its velocity zero and then it turns around and returns back to the ground. So we can use either of this function to find the maximum height that it reaches. The derivative of this which is when this equals zero. So if the velocity equals zero, of course, that would mean that x is just equal to two because minus 20 plus 20 is equal to zero. So if x equals two, that means that the height above ground is going to be minus five times two squared plus 20 times two. That gives me an answer of just 20 meters. The maximum height the ball reaches is 20 meters, and you can see we solve this entirely by using antiderivatives. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.